If you're a fan of the classic holiday poem The Night Before Christmas, you may have wondered why people bother to hang stockings by the chimney, or anywhere else in their homes, during the holidays. The answer lies in a holiday staple, gifts. Saint Nicholas, who is the Bishop of Myra, was supposedly the only child of a wealthy family who dedicated himself to giving away all his money before he died, Forbes said. A 15th century Italian altarpiece illustrates the bishop throwing balls of gold through a window to help a poverty stricken father provide dowries for his three daughters destined for lifelong servitude. A variation of the story involves the now traditional holiday stockings, according to Forbes. One of the further legends is that there are three daughters that were washing their stockings, and they have hung them on the mantle to dry. The bishop dropped the golden gifts down the chimney on three. And Saint Nicholas said, no, you can't tell them. All the credit goes to God, Forbes said. What that's doing is taking the whole Santa story and reading it backward into Saint Nicholas. In 1954, William Porter Kelly wrote in the story of A Visit from St. Nicholas that from this legendary incident the custom grew for the older members of the family secretly to place gifts in shoes, stuck. Filling the stocking with an orange, a Christmas tradition from the 19th century, might be a tribute to the St. Nick of old, wrote Emily Spivak for Smithsonian Magazine. The tropical fruit represented the golden gifts from the saint, and oranges were a rare treat in the 1800s. Oranges became a luxury for families of modest means who reserved them as a gift for their children, according to journalist Dominique Faufel in The Little Book of Christmas. The Associ. And you have, in a sense, two present delivery vehicles in Christmas tradition. One is presents in the stockings and the other is at the base of the Christmas tree, Forbes said. The stocking is also one of many traditions reflective of a cultural, rather than religious, holiday, 